Oh, hey, mommies. My name is Tweet, and I'll be talking about Crazy Lobster in Costa Maya, Mexico. When I did my research for Crazy Lobster, I read that there was a minimum amount of money that you had to spend here in order to use their free beach access or that there was a reservation. So I had to check it out. When looking at their Facebook page, Crazy Lobster even had several videos out that said that they have free beach access, free Wi-Fi, free kayak use, bathrooms, and showers. We sailed on the Norwegian breakaway and our walk from the ship to the taxi was about 20 minutes. We had to take the long route to get out of the port. Since the port is renovating and adding to the port, there's only one exit out of the port. I also think that they're keeping it this way so that all the passengers can walk by all the shops. The most stroller friendly and fastest route to leave the port would be to hang on the ocean side and go through here. Going this route also avoids most of the shops, but if you like going to see the shops, then you can still go this way, which is also stroller friendly. When you arrive at the end of the port, before the port gates, the taxis are right here and there are tour vendors here too. The taxi is $4 per person one way and little lap children are free. Make sure you double check and triple ask the driver so that there is no miscommunication how much taxis will be. The taxi ride to the beach is a quick five minutes and make sure your driver takes you to Crazy Lobster. Don't let them take you to another beach. But if he drops you at another area that isn't Crazy Lobster, you can always just still walk to Crazy Lobster Beach. So when the taxis drop you off, you're not directly in front of Crazy Lobster Beach. It's the next road over since the road is in front of Crazy Lobster. That's for pedestrians, segways, golf carts, bicycles, or police vehicles. So just walk through the buildings and look for the yellow sign with the red lobster on the banner. When the taxi dropped us, we were in front of the Tipsy Turtle Barefoot Beach. So we just took a left and headed to Crazy Lobster. There was a worker from Tipsy Turtle who wanted us to go to this beach too. He said there are bathrooms and showers on site and that the beach entry is free as long as we consume food and drink. We also passed by another beach club, so Crazy Lobster was not too far from where we were dropped off. Our taxi driver did initially drop us off in front of Crazy Lobster, but we didn't see the beach sign and it looked sketchy to us. Because we saw no business or people and the entrance looked so narrow. So if you do get dropped off here, this is it as well. So just kind of walk straight through the buildings. It sounds like all the beaches on this side are free. And as long as you consume food and drink, that's how it's free to tourists. And it's free entry for their beach and use of tables and lounge chairs and other amenities that they have. Since I didn't get a chance to change my baby into her swimsuit, we did have to hit the bathrooms right away. The bathrooms are located on the other side of the road where the Crazy Lobster bicycles were. Inside, there is no baby changing table and there is a camera right here in the corner. Obviously, I would not suggest changing your baby on the bench here. So bring a baby changing mat and just go into the bathroom and do their business there. After we changed into our swimsuits and applied sunblock, we headed out to the beach. We were seated by the Crazy Lobster staff and chose a table with shade. We don't lounge in the chairs, so that is an option for anyone who wants to grab a lounge chair instead, but you can always go between the table and the chair. Initially, whenever our driver dropped us off in front of Crazy Lobster, but we didn't see a sign, there was a person who handed us this flyer. So as soon as we sat down at the table, we went on ahead and ordered our free margaritas and our $5 beers from the flyer. Keep in mind that they are 7 ounce beers and not the 12 ounce beers like they are in the States. Also, the name is different too. They're called Coronita Extra instead of Corona Extra. Here is the menu at Crazy Lobster. Their prices are reasonable. For the picky toddlers or adults, they do have chicken fingers, quesadillas, nachos, and french fries. For their menu, they do have soda, beer, cocktails, and coconut. For food, they have burritos, tacos, fajitas, ceviche, soup, lobster, and much more. I'll have a PDF of the menu below in the description. I didn't eat anything from here since we had a big breakfast that morning. We just ordered beers for ourselves and fries for my kiddos to munch on. By the time we hit the beach, it was around noon and the water was a bit chilly for February, but it quickly warmed up in less than 30 minutes. On their flyer and the Crazy Lobster Facebook page, it does advertise that kayaks are free to use. We didn't get a chance to use them because we were too busy watching the kiddos and we docked at the Costa Maya port late that day. Also, I had to make time to get my one hour massage for $20. So next time we will try the kayaks. 
The beach felt great. We had a view of the cruise ship dock at the pier in the background. It's a very clean beach, and there is a net in the fore distance to keep the seaweed away from the beach shores. It is a little bit rocky, so walk slowly in the waters. If you're able to bring swim shoes, this is the beach to wear them. You can get a massage here for $20 an hour. But I did speak to a guy on the beach earlier, and he said that when he went to go ask, they told him it was $30 an hour. He waited a few hours, and he was told $25 instead. When it was my turn to ask for a massage, it was around 2.30 p.m., and it was $25. But I told the masseuse that I was told $20 an hour, and she agreed. So basically, make sure you haggle for a bit, or wait until the late afternoon when they are not busy to get that price. I did pay in cash as well. There are no showers here, but there is an outdoor shower that we use for rinsing. It is right outside the building with the bathrooms next to their bicycles. After my toddlers played for two hours in the water, my baby was knocked out sleeping, and my son changed out of his swimsuit. This is when he wanted to play on the playset. There are two outdoor playsets here, and they both have slides and swings. This was super awesome, and I didn't expect them to have these. My toddler also enjoyed playing in the hammocks here. There's also tons of swings for adults to use as well. After we were ready to leave, the taxis were a short walk for us. We could have walked back to where we arrived, but we wanted to see some of the strip and shops. As soon as we were walking, be prepared to have vendors come up to you while they're trying to sell their souvenirs or last minute drink options. When we got to the taxi, they had a van available and the driver wanted $16, but we said that we paid $12 to get here. $4 per adult, and we wanted to pay that. So we did a little haggling again, and the driver agreed. The drive back to port was just five minutes back, and he did drop us right outside the port gates instead of going inside the port. When we were picked up earlier that morning, we were picked up inside the gates. This is the port to bring a stroller because the walk back is long. If you prefer a baby carrier, bring that also. These little toddler legs cannot walk that far and long, and we don't want to carry these toddlers, especially when strollers were great to hold our beach bags too. I was curious and wanted to see how much golf cart rentals are. They are $80 for the whole day for six people and $60 all day for four people. Obviously, I'm not going to rent these anytime in the next several years, but these will be great for when my kiddos are older and we want to sightsee the area and visit different areas of the port. So what I really loved about Crazy Lobster is that the beaches are cleaned with beautiful, clear, turquoise waters, plenty of shaded areas, tons of swings and hammocks, and two outdoor play sets for my toddler. This is definitely a place we want to visit again. Remember that this place has free amenities with purchase of food and drink. There is no minimum amount, so let me know if you've already been to Crazy Lobster or looking forward to coming here in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, mommies. Thank <laughs> you.